Hello, this is Rezorat from Radicat, and in this video, I'm going to talk about how to hide or lock the filters from user view in the Power BI report. Let's see how it works. Uh, before talking about this method, I have to mention that whatever I'm explaining here is only valid for read-only users in the Power BI environment. Uh, when you share a report, there are two types that users can have access to this. They are either read-only user um, or they are they having edit access. I would call edit access a developer access, read-only user a user access. If they have read-only access, then the changes or the settings that I'm about to explain in this video uh, would apply on them. If they have edit access, these changes wouldn't impact them much because they can edit the report, they can go to the PBIX file, open it in Power BI Desktop or open it in the Power BI service and um, and do the changes that they want. If you want to share the report in a read-only way, normally you don't share it using Power BI Desktop, you share it using Power BI Service. There are different methods such as the basic sharing on the Power BI report, um, uh, like, like using this share button over here or using uh, Power BI apps or workspaces with the view only access or embedding in a read only mode and uh, many other methods. I have explained about all different sharing methods and their licensing options separately in other articles and videos. Go and check the link down in the description below for the details. Now, let's say you are sharing this in a read only way. Let's talk about this filter. The filter pane is an area that you can apply whatever filters you want for the Power BI report. For example, here I can apply uh, filters in three different levels, visual level filter, page level filter, and on all pages, which is report level filter. I have another video about that, uh, which you can go and uh, learn more about it. Uh, whatever filter you apply here for the user, this is the read only user view of the report. For the user, they all will be by default uh, visible. There's a filter section in the Power BI website in the report. User can open it. They can see what filters applied on the report. They can even expand it and change it. Like, for example, if they want to change this to be, I don't know, greater than or equal to nine, they can apply a filter and they can actually filter this. Of course, this change is only for them, not for other users, um, but still it is a change that they can make. Sometimes you may not like them to make any changes or even view the changes, uh, view the filters. They can also view the filter by clicking on this little funnel icon here that shows what filters are applied on a visual here. You can see that these are filters applied. Uh, so this is the default behavior. Now I want to show you that you can uh, lock this filter or hide this filter. It's very simple. To lock the filter, you can go to the Power BI desktop. Now I'm going to uh, just remove these two. I don't really need them. And I'm going to lock one of these filters. The lock filter is just this simple lock icon beside the filter. When you click on it, that filter is locked. You still see it in the Power BI desktop, but uh, and you you can make changes. But this is your developer environment. If I publish it, and considering my user is a read-only user, they will not be able to uh, to edit this filter. I'm just waiting for this to publish. Yep, here it is. It is publishing. Now I'm bringing that report. And once the publish is finished, I will just refresh it. Here it is. Let's refresh it. Okay. Uh, refresh the whole page, I mean. Now this time, you can see that this filter is locked. I can still see it, but if I click on it, nothing happens. But if I click on other filters, I can make my changes. So a locked filter means user cannot edit it. They can still see it though. If the user click on here, they can still see it if uh, if the filter is not being hidden. Another setting, which is as simple as this one is hiding it. Let's say for example, this 
filter, I don't want the user to even see it. I can click on it and hide the filter. When I hide the filter, again, I still see it here, but for the user view, this will not be mm, not be visible as, uh, as it is for me in the Power BI Desktop because user is a read-only user. Uh, so if I open that report again, yep, done, and if I refresh it, this time you should see that when I click on this, that filter does not exist here. Even if it exists in the actual PBIX file, I cannot see it here. And if I hover on this funnel icon, I would not also see that. So it is completely hidden from the user view. Again, this is read only user. So very simple settings, hide the filter or lock the filter. Uh, these are good scenarios when you are applying some back and back behind the scene type of filtering. You don't want your users to change it or even see it. Uh, but always remember that this is only impacting the read only user because if the user has access to uh, edit this, they can edit it in Power BI website or they can edit it in the Power BI desktop. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI. Thank you.